forward to deliver the welcome address. Mr. Stanzin Dawa, ladies morning. and gentlemen. Good morning, sir. One of the renowned educationist who is an eminent scholar, Professor Nandita Shukla, who is the Dean Students Welfare of one of the best universities we have in the country, Punjab University. <laughs> Professor Nandita Shukla is our chief guest for today. And I'm also delighted and honored to welcome Mr. R.C. Durga, who was the former director, ST Commission in the center government. And he has got a lot of experience in working with different ministries from education, home, you name it. He has worked with almost with all the ministries. Thank you so much. So for being coming all the way. Challenges and Delhi. opportunities uh, of this 21st century. So what is that biggest challenge that you're facing right now? Jobs? <laughs> or is it something else? In fact, I never wanted that, that should come beforehand. Uh, but yes, somehow now we have it there. So is it the job is one of the biggest challenge? Yes, ma'am. Sure? Yes, ma'am. Not a girlfriend? <laughs> or a boyfriend? Okay, that's done. That's a short. Okay, great. Wonderful. So, yeah, we are that advanced, right? So, uh, and is it an opportunity as well? A job? Yes. Yes? Simultaneously? It's a challenge and it's an opportunity as well? Yes? We're all, all looking forward to work, isn't it? Kuch na kuch to karna hai na zindagi mein? Right? Except for tafri marne ke and uh, yes, all that, you know, prestigious work that you have to do. Uske ilawa bhi kuch aur karna hai? Something more systematic, something more focused? Yes? Okay. Um, yes, so job, um, yes, job, you need to uh, seek out for a job. What are you looking forward to? Seeking for a job or is it, yes, being a job creator, what Nandini Ma'am also said? Huh? A job seeker? How many job seekers here? None. Oh my. It's all job creators. Then you are actually the already the opportunity providers. Then where is the challenge? Opportunity when you already know, yes, what you're looking forward to and you know you're going to create it. Then what's holding you back there? Lack of capital, ma'am. Lack of capital. Okay. Uh, believe me, my friend, Thank capital you so much, ma'am. Uh, I individually join my hands and both words you. It's a really motivational and inspiration point of uh, you have thought and shared. And so, people, please uh, give the, give her a huge round of applause, please. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. And I individually inspired a lot. So, uh, most of you have traveled from far away distance. So, as a relief of a type of relaxation, we have. Uh, organize a small sort of a entertainment. So as a tribal uh, people, actually they are naturally dependent. So we have a mixed culture dance from Lahul Spiti and Ladakh. So first we have a dance from Ladakh, a place, a land of passes. So these people bring us a melodious music, which is probably spreading of love within nature, spouse and community. So please welcome Ladakh students. Oh Ooh, 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 ooh
controls the nature and uh, environment, whose lifeline is always dependent on the natural resources. And they are very peace loving people. They are far connected from the little, somehow developed uh, peoples. But they, they want to live separate from other people without the interference of others. And they usually found in the mountain areas or in the gods or in somehow separated from the little developed people. Yes. The last point which you have mentioned, they are isolated from the rest of the world, the rest of the population of the country or the state. And that is why the fruits of development have not reached them. So they are also equal citizen, equal intelligent person, equal capable person. The only difficulty has been they were not able to avail the opportunities for the latest development in the country, in the state, in the district to which you belong. So if somebody says, I ask some question and you feel shy telling that you belong to ST, you should not because you have not committed any crime. The only thing is, you belong to the area which has been isolated from the rest of the population. And now, government has given opportunities so that you should come forward and avail the fruits and benefits of those development activities. So you are not less capable than, than others. So if you know that we are not less capable than others, then we should not feel shy. If somebody raises this question, we should be able to tell them, we are equally like you. The only thing is, we were not having adequate opportunities as compared to you are having. But now, we are in the same class, we are in the same place of work, we are equal and I don't have any shyness being a Shadu type. Now how to reach that place, that level? Mr. Jigne had mentioned certain problems. I'll start with each of them. When we are asking for certain opportunities, we are facing certain challenges we have to empower ourselves first educationally which will help us in empowering economically. So, once we know that the constitutional framers had recognized the basic issue of backwardness among scheduled tribes due to isolation from rest of the people, they had devised certain provisions in the constitution which aimed at providing them opportunities for their development. Now let us think on our family system. We say that the are same way, suppose we have five family members, all members can never be educated equally, can never become economically independent equally, then what we do? If any member of our family lags behind, or the family of that member faces some hardship, then what we do? We try to help that member or the members of his family. And that was the formula which constitution provided. Provide reservation for scheduled tribes in matter of employment and in matter of education. This is the way of enabling them to 
avail the opportunities. So we will now go in detail into the schemes which government have initiated for Sheru tribes. These schemes are similar for Sheru caste also because the session is for Sheru tribes. We will discuss it on the lines of the scheme which are being run by Ministry of Tribal Affairs of Sheru tribes. But if we have our friends who belong to Sheru caste, the same information will be useful to them also because similar schemes are for both the communities. What we discussed, although constitution provides for specifying scheduled tribes, but it doesn't give any definition which we discussed, the criteria which will make a community to be eligible for being specified as scheduled tribes. Uh, as mentioned earlier, I have worked in the field of tribal development from the beginning of my career and I have learned from my experience that programs for welfare of scheduled tribes, I say welfare of scheduled tribes have been taken up by the government from the first plan itself. But the benefits could not reach the tribals and the tribal areas to the extent required. Because the scheme was being taken as part of a small subsector called welfare of backward classes. In the fourth five-year plan, Government of India considered a policy, to frame a policy, we should benefit not only the tribals, but consider development of the tribal areas as such. And the theory was given the name Integrated Tribal Development. It was considered that Shalu tribes being part and parcel of the whole population of the country, they deserve the benefits out of each and every program. Not only from the programs which are being taken up under welfare back classes. The programs under WBC, Welfare Bioplasty, should only be supplemental. So the new theory, the new policy of tribal development was evolved in fourth plan. It was named as Tribal Subplan. And integrated tribal projects were taken up. Consequently, the funds, the level of funds for development of Shadu tribes increased from